showing you a career where the sky's the limit on wages and the work is on the water. This Workforce Wednesday, we're talking maritime careers. So who's hiring and what do they pay and how can you get started? Joining us on the couch, Carrie Ann Carty with the Alaska Process Industry Careers Consortium and Terry Federer, Department Chair with the state's Maritime Training Center in Seward. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. So Carrie Ann, when it comes to Alaska's economy, where does the maritime industry fit in? Well, we like to say in the maritime industry, high dollar blue collar jobs. And there's a lot of them, about 70,000 jobs available here in the state of Alaska in the maritime industry in a wide range of fields, whether it's uh, seafood harvesting or um, offshore oil and gas, there's a lot of opportunities available. With the Arctic opening up, there's more opportunities coming uh, in the future. And it's a field where the training is available right here in Alaska. So Terry, speaking of training, that's where ad Avtex Maritime Industry uh, Training Center comes in. Yes, absolutely. Um, Avtex has the Alaska Maritime Training Center located in Seward, Alaska. Uh, it's one of many departments that Avtech has, but it happens to be the largest um, department at Avtech. Many different career uh, paths to choose from in this industry. Uh, one career path is the Able Seafarer Deck, which would be taking a deckhand and up to an Able Seaman uh, to mate and then eventually captain. Another career path would be an engineering career path, marine engineering career path with an um, able seafarer engine taking a deckhand up to assistant engineer and then eventually um, chief engineer. All of this that we try to do at Avtech with a focus on the Arctic. As the Ar Arctic opens up, more training requirements are required of mariners to work in that area. So Avtech has developed the only U.S. Uh, Coast Guard ice Coast Guard approved ice navigation course in the world. Nice. So Terry, you're an instructor at Avtech and a boat captain in Seward. I'm curious what drew you into the industry? <laughs> that's a, that's okay. a show in itself. <laughs> um, you know, I sort of stumbled into the industry by accident and uh, working in boat yards and marinas as a young, young person. And that's how I paid for my college education, in fact. And once I graduated college, I ended up working as a food and beverage manager and even a, a FedEx courier before I came back to this industry. And eventually I received my Merchant Mariner credential. So now, even though I'm still an instructor at Avtech, I do still work on the water for major marine tours, taking 200 some passengers out on a daily basis in the summertime. Gary Ann, uh, you mentioned high dollar blue collar careers. Mm -hmm. Who's hiring right now? Well, it's a wide range, whether it's uh, cook inlet operations, uh, barge, tug and barge operations, uh, whether it's doing research for the University of Alaska Fairbanks on the Sekuliak research vessel in the Arctic. Just uh, and some of your typical uh, companies would be like Crowley, uh, Bryce Marine, and just a wide variety of opportunity. And what's the pay like? You'd be surprised at the starting wage around $60,000 a year. Uh, right. And it's not really just about the wage, it's about the lifestyle. We, most mariners typically work uh, six months out of 12 during the year for that high wage. Uh, plus there's excellent benefits included, uh, as you would see at most large corporations. Uh, <clears throat> and if, as you get more experience and become a master in your trade, you could look at wages in the $250,000 a year and wow. above. <laughs> yeah. Quarter of a million bucks. So if someone wants to get more information and get started in Maritime, who should they contact? Well, the first place I would start would be at avtech.edu or give us a call and either Martha and I would be happy to help you out. Carrie Ann, Terry, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.